The technique that we're going to be looking at today is frottage, and frottage is basically taking a rubbing of something that has a raised area contrasted with a lower area, and then um, going in relief over the top to get a design. So I've just picked out a few things here that I'm going to just show you um, what they do when you um, rub them out with the crayon. And this is basically a really good way for you to get a background um, and then be able to work into it with oil pastels, uh, watercolor, or any type of media that you think will um, work well. Uh, if you use crayons uh, to block out your textures, then uh, watercolor will go around the crayon lines and allow you to get a nice sharp um, uh, contrast between the um, crayon and the um, paper with the color on it. So I'm just using this cardboard thing that came in packing. I thought it was kind of interesting. You can see the color moves, the, the um, image moves a little bit more if it has height. It's a little bit easier when it's flatter, but you can still get something that has a little height if you hold it in place. And what I like about this particular piece is it allows you to get those edges which have some nice graphic impact. So I'm going to just do one more up here to sort of uh, get that edge going on. And this is basically just laying out my composition. Now I'll be able to work into it with colors as I go more into uh, my design. So I'm going to take this uh, stencil that I have here and I'm going to just put some of these circles in the background. And you can see it's the high areas that are catching uh, the crayon. Uh, and that is... Um, good for you to remember that it's always going to be what's on top that's going to um, collect the color that you're putting onto the page. So I'm going to take this little piece here and again I'm doing it all in one color because what I'm going to be doing is then working into this with different colors. I'm going to put some washes of watercolor and then I will then go and work into it with oil pastel to get a contrast of opaque color. So I'm taking this little round thing and again with things that have height you have to like work a little bit harder to keep it in place uh, and just gently tug it in place and carefully move uh, your fingers out of the way to be able to get the entire design. So now I want to come in and get my main piece here. And this is going to be my wolf. And I'm going to line him up in that white area there. And I can kind of see him coming through. And then I'm going to take the crayon and just go over the top. And again, I peeled the wrapper off of my crayon to make it easier for me to be able to get the frottage and do the rubbing over the top of the design and catch those details a little bit more easily. because And you can build up that wax by really pushing down and um, getting the details. And you can see it moved a little bit, so it's got like a little um, uh, double edge there, and that's fine. Basically, I'm just trying to divide that picture plane in an interesting way uh, by adding um, the textures to this piece and transferring the details uh, onto it um, prior to adding um, my color. So I'm going to just come in here and fill in this circle. And what I'm really hoping for with this is that you're pushing yourself a little bit uh, out of your comfort zone to do something that you wouldn't normally do um, and, and play with uh, texture in a way you might not uh, normally uh, think about using it uh, to create a design that is a bit more dynamic because one of the things that they really want to see when you're working um, and submitting your pieces into the AP College Board is they really want to see this idea of exploration and pushing materials uh, to uh, a place that um, has a little bit of experimentation and a little risk-taking. 
So I'm going to leave that right there. And now I'm going to uh, stop this. I'm going to fast forward and I'm going to just add my watercolors to start breaking down that areas. And then I will go in and I will uh, use oil pastels to pull out specific parts.